Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be reviewing this 50 quart battery powered fridge. This is the battery compartment. And that's how you install the battery. And we will be testing out how well this performs during a camping trip later in the video. And it's gonna be hot. The lid is made of nice durable plastic. The controls are right here with a USB charger as well as a cordless charger right here. It does have handles on both sides, which is very nice when you're taking it out of the box or just moving it around when you cannot roll it around with these big wheels. And it has this handle to make it easier to lug around. To open up the fridge, it does have this nice satisfying latch. Foam is surrounding the lid. This fridge is pretty deep and very large. Since the compressor and the battery is located up here, we have a lot of room down under and it's pretty fairly deep. The opening is 10 inches and a quarter by 12 inches and three quarters. Then the inside is 18 inches lengthwise. And of course the width wise is the same as the opening of the lid at 10 inches and a quarter. It does have an LED that illuminates the entire interior of the fridge. And this is the only fridge that I know that actually has a drain plug. We have a few options to charge the unit. We have a 12 volt plug, that plugs right here. And this plugs into your car. We have this wall plug that plugs in the same spot. And finally, we can remove this battery by twisting this way and removing it. Then we have a little plug right there that we can once again charge with this. It is currently 88 degrees. Let's put that in the fridge and see how fast this can get down to 32 degrees. Let's turn the unit. Gets all the way down to negative four degrees, but let's put up to 32. We're at 60 decibels right next to the fridge. Over here is 40, and that's not too loud. It's been 25 minutes. It says it just got down to 32 degrees. And the side, down below is 49 degrees. I'm safely assuming that the temp gauge is up above versus down below, so that's why the bottom of the fridge is still 49. It's been one hour, 35 degrees, set to 32. Now let's see how fast this will drop in temperature when I turn it off. Keep in mind there's nothing in there, so it's probably gonna drop fairly quickly. Still 88 degrees. It's been half an hour and the fridge is 45 degrees. Now let's see how long it will take for this to freeze. Roughly eight and a half hours later, the water bottle is 90% frozen. So it's currently 105 degrees out here. It's 442. The fridge is set to 41 degrees and we're running only on battery power. The manufacturer says it should last eight hours on battery power. Uh, we're gonna test to see how long it can survive in this pretty hot heat. I'm pretty excited. It's currently 47 in the fridge, and that's because I pre-cooled it before we left. As you can see, it is pretty dang hot out here. So it's been over an hour. Still working at 40 degrees. The battery it's three bars now. And it's feeling pretty good in there. <laughs> it's been two hours. Still just one battery bar down. And this beer is feeling pretty cold. You know, at first I was pretty skeptical about how this battery would perform. But in pretty hot heat, it lasted about 6.5 hours and it was still showing it was at half battery. That's pretty awesome. You know, the camping trip was pretty great. However, we were a bit disorganized. We, I was gonna show you us pouring the meat out, cooking it, showing something pretty amazing, you know, looking really clean, but we forgot the shish kebabs and we forgot the skillet. So, uh, we had to use the side of my portable grill as a cooking plate. That's okay. And we had to do that because we were in Texas and we were always on a fire band. The battery was really freaking cool because I could easily take it out of my camper to where I am sitting and hang out while the food and beers and all that stuff is staying cool in the cooler. That was very nice. And the fact that the, it kept up in 100 degree weather, I will say we set it to 41 degrees. It did not hit 41 degrees where my thermometer was, however, it was still cold and cold enough. It was around 45 degrees. This cooler really fits a lot of stuff within it. Now, it was a bit overkill for a one night camping trip, but if it's for multiple nights or if I want to take it to Coda, the racetrack, and have it back to Tahoe, this Formula One's coming up. Now, the biggest con I have with this fridge is this phone charger. It works, but it doesn't work well. And it could be because these new phones cannot sit flat 
onto a surface because these big bulky cameras, cameras on these phones are getting bigger and bigger. So I think that is the culprit. Might work well with the tens and whatever doesn't have the bulky cameras. Now the manufacturer says that the battery can last eight hours on eco mode. If this battery is already on and you unplug the unit, it should automatically start powering the fridge and it should automatically kick on to eco mode. And one thing I forgot to mention is how to swap between the settings. Hold that to turn on the battery, hold this power button to turn it on, turns on, hold the settings button to go through the settings. Plus or minus to go from Eco to max, press it again. Check it out, I'm on three bars and I haven't charged it since the camping trip. Then press settings again. This changes the battery protection level. You can put on high, medium, or low. Then it can change between Fahrenheit and Celsius. I'm in America, so I choose Fahrenheit. Now I gotta be honest, this is the first of its kind that I have seen. A battery powered fridge that can charge your devices. It has a USB here and it performs surprisingly well. It, you can tote it around, which I like a lot, that was so nice, it was so hassle-free, not having to lug it around everywhere I go. But even if I had to, these handles are pretty convenient. If you wanna check out this fridge and see if it's for you, I have a link down below for your convenience. And that's all for today. This is Chris, always appreciate and respect another. I'll see you next time.